Hi everyone, welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. As promised, I'm going to be making this little file folder um, journal. Um, I did make it in at a craft group that we have and I covered it up. So this will probably be a two-parter. If it's too long, I will actually do the covering in part two. Uh, but we're going to quickly go through. It's a really easy, simple, fun to make little journal. And all I used was two standard sized um, M, uh, file folders. These are recycled file folders. These are uh, folders that I've used in different things. Um, I love the color of the craft cardstock. So I'm going to try and make today's out of the recycled sand colored file folders. Originally, I used just a plain creamy color. You can buy these at any Walmart or Staples or office supply store. Um, the ones that I did use had the black lines here for adding your um, labels or whatever on here and I did reuse this piece. So we're going to show you two different variations but I'm going to be using this craft. I'm just going to recycle these old craft file folders that I had. And literally what you're going to be doing is you're going to need two. You'll only end up using three pieces of the file folder to put into to make the journal and then you'll save that last piece and you can create tags and journaling cards with that extra piece. So what we're going to do is cut these in half exactly. So I believe it's five and three quarters or five and five eighths. You're going to cut this in half exactly on your cutting machine and we're going to start with that first cut. Once you cut your file folder in half exactly, so this is the five and seven eighths and five and seven eighths. You're going to end up with two pieces and you're going to do two file folders. So you're going to end up with four pieces. What I'm going to do is take the two pieces that have this lined file part and I'm going to cut those off at eight inches. So right from the fold, you're going to measure over and you're going to cut them off on my machine at eight inches. So two of them you cut off at eight inches and two of them, the bottom pieces, you leave just this way, okay? So the two top pieces you cut at eight inches and this one we're going to leave this way. And then what we do is, the two top pieces, you're gonna take it from your fold, like so. So this is your eight inches and you're just going to score it at four inches and you're going to fold your top flap back and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to score it at four inches and you're going to fold that flap back. So what you're going to end up with is a little W like that. And these are the bottom pieces that I cut at eight inches. And then the top piece where we've, or the bottom piece where we left that piece, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to score it at the four inches, like that. And we're going to fold these pieces back. And the same on the other side. You're going to score it at the four inches and you're going to fold that piece back so that you will end up with your W, but you're going to have this little excess, these excess pieces hanging over. And I've marked there where my four inches, so you're going to have enough room there. I want to make some tabs for the tops. With this one, I, I cut my own tabs and I glued them on, but with this, I'm going to leave them on. So you're going to end up with two pieces like this. And I'll just show you really quickly here. So there's the piece I cut at eight inches, and there's the piece, the bottom piece that I left alone. And I've cut off off the top piece, this piece. So there's my top and bottom of my file folder. The top one I cut it eight inches, left that tab off, and the bottom one I've left. So this one now I'm going to mark at four inches. Score it four inches. And I'm gonna fold that back and make sure it's right up against there. We want them to be even like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. Score it at four inches. Fold it back. Like that. And score. 
So you're going to end up with your W and the edges are going to be even. So I have that one. And then this one, I'm going to score it four inches on this side, score it four inches on this side, and then I'm just going to fold them back and make sure they're even with the top and score that. And score that. So you end up with your W, but you have these excess pieces hanging over. Now to do that, the reason we did that, and we're only going to use the one flat piece. So this will be my first piece and I'll put tabs on that and then my second flat piece I will be gluing to this one and then my next piece with the tabs I'll be gluing. So this will be my booklet like this. We're going to glue it all together but I'm going to cut tabs for this one, this one, this one, and this one. So you want to have four different tabs running along the tops. So you want to divide this into four almost. So you have four different tabs. And this is almost six inches high. So let's say about a one and a half inch tab. One and a half inch tab. One and a half inch tab. So yeah, about a one and a half inch tab is what you want each of these to be. Okay. So we're going to do the tabs next. Okay, so I've gone ahead and numbered these one, two, and three. So you're going to have the first one with the extra flaps, the second one that's cut flush to four inches, and the third one with the extra flaps. Now we want to cut these flaps down because we're going to make tabs along here and that's a little too wide. So I'm going to measure four and a half inches and I'm going to cut this tab back. Um, on this particular one right here. So I'm going to go over to my cutter and I'm going to measure on my cutter four and a half and I'm going to cut that little bit extra off on both of these flaps because I only want four and a half inches. So I'm going to do that for number one, number two is going to stay the same, and number three, we're going to cut this back to four and a half. So now that we've cut that to four and a half inches, I have my one, two, and three. Now I'm going to make my notches. I'm going to have one notch here, two, three, and four, and I'm going to make them two inches. So I'm going to start with the first one, so we're going to set these two aside, and my first notch will be here. So I'm going to take my envelope punch, and on the very, very edge, I'm going to set this into my notch for my envelope punch right in the center. So we're going to center that right in the punch. Punch that so we get that little curve. And then I'm going to measure two inches over. Make a little mark. And I'm going to put it back in the paper punch and center that mark right in the center of my punch. There. So now I'm going to cut the remainder of this file folder off. So that'll be my first tab. The second tab, we want it to be two inches and we want it to overlap a little bit. So two, yeah, so I'm only going to get three tabs in there. So I want to overlap them a bit. So let's say, let's start the next one, say right about an inch and a quarter over. And then we want a two inch tab. Okay, so that is where my tab will start. So let's try that. An inch and a quarter, we'll put that one in there. So there's my second tab. And again, I'm going to cut these little excess pieces off. So there's tab number two, and this one will be gone. And then I will have this guy in the middle. And then the third one, my tab will start. So let's just move this middle guy out of the way. So my third tab will be let's see. Maybe start it. Oops. Well, actually, let's do the bottom one. So we did the bottom one already. I did that one already. So now we just want to make sure that this one is in the middle of those two. So let's say 
and then let's just get two inches right above there. So my inch and a quarter over from the bottom there and we're going to do the two inches and there okay so we did the same thing on the bottom one and again you find your mark put it in the center of your envelope punch and your two inch mark okay so now I'm going to go over to my cutter and I'm going to trim off these excess pieces Okay, so now we have our two tabs for number one cut, one and two. So this one was right from the edge and then two inches. Then I went in one and a quarter inches and then my two inches and I cut off the excess. There is my middle piece with the four inches cut flat. And then for this one, I had it upside down. So I put it this way. So I started from again from the bottom and I did my outside flat first, cut it here and two inches and then my inch and a quarter and my two inches. So when I put them all together, I have four tabs like that. Now we're gonna glue everything together. So what you're going to wanna do is the very first one is separate and then this is my folded piece, right? So there's my first piece and there's my folded piece. We're going to glue along the edge and along the bottom on the inside here so that when we close it, we will have a pocket from the top. Okay, so let's do that one. So we're going to glue it in a little L shape here and here. Then close that up. And I like to hold the top piece and right where it's folded just for a second or else I use my little um, my little clips here, especially on that fold, just to hold it closed. So that'll be our first. So there's our first little trifold with our tab at the top. There's our first pocket. And then we're going to take this top of the number two and we're going to glue it to the back of the number three or of the back flap so this is number ones this is the back flap <laughs> my little okay, let's move my little feet because they won't stand up there we go so then we're going to take number two which is the flat part we're going to take number two and we're going to glue the front to the back of this particular one and for this one we're just going to glue a C shape so that we have a pocket this way. So I'm just going to line these up and this one is a little bit longer by a hair. So I'm just going to trim that up so that they match. Just give me one second while I trim this up a bit. That's better. Okay, so now they match perfectly. So now I'm going to take this number two and we're going to do a C pocket. I call them L pockets and C pockets. So we're going to glue along here and here and here like that. And we're going to glue it to the back pocket of number one. And again, I'll just grab one or two of these little things just to hold it for me and let that dry there and along the bottom there. And then we're going to do the same thing for the center pocket here. We're going to glue the little L shape. So there's my, this is number two. And we're going to do the L pocket, which is down the back. And across the bottom. And we're going to close that up. And I am just going to remove that paper clip, bowl clip, and that one. So 
that's holding my pocket together and this is my my L pocket and the same thing I just like to hold them together right near the folds just to get them to grab okay so there's my pocket like that and there we go those are all glued together and then for the last one I'm gonna let this dry for a second and then we're gonna glue number three C pocket onto the back of that one and then glue that one closed as well. So I'm just gonna glue the number three pocket closed while it's not attached to make it easier for myself. There, and we're gonna close that up. Grab a couple more of these little clips just to hold them in place. So there's our number three. Gotta close my little feeties in. Okay. So there's number three. And number two. So we have our first flap, our top pocket. We've glued the back of number one to the front of number two. We've made our second L pocket, her little pocket from up here. And then this is the back of number two, which will be glued to the front of number three like that and again in the C shape. So I'm just going to wait for this to dry a second longer and then I'm going to glue that together. Now we take the back of number two and we're doing the C pocket because we want it to go in this way. So we're going to put glue along the edge here in the C shape. And then what we're going to do is lay them, oops, them up against the surface and then we're just going to put them together like that because you want the back spine to match and the top as well and that one just looks a little smidge taller so i'm going to pull that apart and i'm just going to quickly trim this real fast You want it to be flat, flush. So make sure that they all are the exact same size before gluing them together. <laughs> all right, so we have our first piece, two, our second tab, which is a pocket, third, another pocket, another pocket, and our last piece. Okay, let me just erase that number three because that's the wrong one. So this is the, the first page, then we have a pocket here. Our second one with the tab, we have a pocket here. Another pocket here. Another pocket here. Here. And then that's the back page, like that. And then what I did, I took my little tab piece here and I actually made a little cover to go over the spine. Once I sew them it together, or once I go to cover it, I'm actually going to, just to get rid of this look, I'm actually gonna score it so that when I place it on my book and glue it there against that bottom line, then it's gonna fold over and then it'll fold over again and it'll cover that last piece. So just let me score this real quickly. I'll get my score board back here. So I'm going to score it here, right along that line, and then right along the other black line, pretty much. And fold it. And this one I'm not going to fold all the way because it might not line up. So let's see. So then we're going to glue that on there, like that. So that will be a little spine cover and then when I glued it on I just took a piece of paper and put it over top of this but I glued it to the back already so it was glued on and I left it like this open so I put my front cover on 
and then I covered this piece with paper and I put my back cover on and then I folded that over. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this little black back spine, the back flap, like that. And I'm gonna line it up with the top and the bottom. And I'm just gonna glue that on like that. And we're gonna leave it open because we wanna put our front cover on. Now at this point, it doesn't matter that it has the number one there because you're going to cover this with paper. But at this point, if you want to um, distress any of the edges, this is the best time to do it. So you'll take your distressor and just go around the outside edges of your book just to give them that look because that little we want a, a little eighth of a line to show where you put your papers on. So I'm just going to go ahead and distress all of the edges of the book. And on the inside as well. Now because I've used um, Staples brand. This is a recycled file folder. It has the basics label there. It will show through a tiny, tiny bit on the edge. I'm okay with that. Um, I just believe in recycling rather than going out and buying a whole bunch of new file folders. And I love this color. So, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to do that to all the edges of your book. Now on this one, I am going to do a whole uh, thumb punch. I'm just going to grab my one inch. And I'm going to measure that so it's four inches, so two inches the middle. And I'm going to measure it down farther so that when I put my little hole punch in here, I can see it. And again, maybe you should have done this beforehand, Darlene. Yes, I probably should have. <laughs> so there's my little line. I'm just going to slide it down in and punch. But I just decided at the last minute I like the idea of having that little punch it so that now when I'm distressing it I can actually distress that little thumb punch as well. And see, we'll have a little distress ink around the outsides of that as well. And then you're just going to go ahead and keep distressing all your outer edges. And I distress the back piece as well, inside, just so that when it's closed, and I'll show you, you'll have the distressing there as well. So we're going to go ahead and finish up distressing this, and then I'm going to pick out the um, cardstock or paper that I want to cover this with. And I have all these scrap pieces of lined pages and the tabs. I'll show you how I put these little tabs in and we'll start on part two. Okay, so I'm now I am finished distressing all the edges of my little journal and I even distressed the edge of my little flap here that I'm going to be covering anyway but I just distressed the edge just in case some of it shows through. This part will be covered up. So that is all distressed. I did have a second or a third, excuse me, file folder left over and what I like to do is make my journal cards and tags that go inside the pockets and in the journal itself out of the same material. You don't have to, you can use um, just cardstock, but I'm going to use up, I started cutting up this file folder anyway, um, so I'm going to use this as my backup. So what I've done is cut a journaling card for each of the pockets and there's five pockets. There's three that are from the top and two that are from the side. And I'm just going to show you on my handmade one. So we've got three that are at the top and then two that come out the side. But what I did for this little pocket is I just made a little booklet um, with a couple of pieces of paper and I think it has three or four pieces of paper, eight pieces of paper in it. 
and then I just slid that in the pocket. So you can do that as well. Just use some cardstock and make a little booklet. But I've just taken my file folder and I've cut five pieces in case I want to do five cards. Four cards. I thought I had five. Okay. So <laughs> I've cut some pieces for the cards and I just made these three and a half by five. Um, to fit inside the pockets from the top. So three and a half by five will give me plenty of room to slide those into the little pockets. So I'm going to do that. So I've cut, I thought I cut five, but I've cut four. And then I'm just going to round the edges out. I find they slide into the pockets easier if they are, have rounded corners. So I'm going to round all those out. And the reason I'm showing you this now is because I wanted to stress around these, the edges of these as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for some journaling cards. And I will cover these as well with some things. Um, and then for the tags, these little tags inside, I think I've done three. Let me just double check. One, two, and three. And all I've done was taken some of the cardstock and I cut these to two and three eighths by five inches. And then what I'm going to do is the um, tag is going to sit, say, in this, in this opening here, like that. So I'm just going to mark where I want the fold to be. And you want it to be on the inside because when the book closes, let me just fold this real quick here. You want to make sure that the tag isn't in the crease. So this one, I don't think it's even cut to five inches. No, this is a six inch. But what I'm going to be doing is you want it to be a little smaller than the edge here. And you want it to sit on the inside of the line. So I've just gone ahead and folded it. And then I'm going to cut. I only need a little bit. So that when I put my tag in, and I'm going to have it so that I glue that little piece in there, and it's going to be close to the line, but I still want it to be able to close. So I'm going to glue that there, like that, and cover this, and it will flip open so that when I put my piece of cardstock here, it will cover this little, little tag. And I just normally take one of my other tags that I have, and I just use that for my corners like that so there's my little tag and it will sit right there and again I want to cut all these first because I want to distress the edges and then I'm going to go ahead and glue them into the book so let's distress some edges here Now we're not going to see this bottom piece, but you got to distress both sides. And then I will probably punch the hole just to give me, excuse me, stick my hand in the middle of the camera there. I'm just going to punch a hole there as well. So that when I cover it with paper, I'll do the one side, punch, re-punch the hole, and then when I cover the other side, I can still see the hole from either side. So you cover one side, re-punch your hole, cover the other side, and re-punch your hole. So this will go in here like that. And then I will cover it with, or you can have it going this way, whichever way you like. It will get glued in and then you will add your, your paper over top of this little tab. It will cover it. And I think I actually had to notch a little tiny bit out of my paper just so that the fold, when it folded over, it was in line with the, the back of my ta tag there. Okay? So you have to decide where you want to put the tags. I didn't put too many in because you don't want it to be too fat and you've got all your cards that you have to put in the pockets. So I believe I just did three. And I like this tag better with the picture on the outside and then the journaling on the inside. And then the same is on the back. 
I just put some journaling on either side as well. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I think I will have them on the front covers because the front covers are the thinnest. And then I just chose somewhere in the middle and added a tag as well. So I'm gonna do three of these tags up. And I will have these on my, and again, you wanna distress that end there because it's going to show when I cover like that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other tags and round out my corners and distress the edges of my cards and then we'll start covering things.